And here we are. Here we are. Here you are. Here I am. Here they and are. There they are. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome, welcome. So, what's the game plan today, Pontus? Um, as you can see, I'm trying to put some birds in the water here. Mm? See if we can attract some uh, some, some nice mallards here. Quackers. So this is this is Pontus's first ever foray into the world of. Uh, Oh, we we still on Hunter Classic for the stream category. Oh, Whoopsie we are. daisy. I'll fix that. Um, so yeah, this is your first ever bang at doing ducks. So obviously normally there's a bit of setup involved. So we'll see if you can get any any bites, as it were. But I reckon it might be tricky. But we'll see. Yeah. Um, I took a little while. But you can just see how pretty I arranged this. That that's the key. That's the key. Any hints? Any hints? So far, look good. Um, Hint would have been to set up like six or seven duck locations before we went live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was busy though. You know, it's it's. We've been super busy. Yeah, when it. TK is away, um, mm -hmm. we have to do a lot of different when things. When TK is away, the mice don't get to play. <laughs> 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 pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, mm -mm -mm. What's the first animal being a diamond albino mallet? Knowing Pontus and his. Uh, <laughs> Massive luck. It's very likely. Hey, it's skill. It's I, I skill. think we had a discussion on one of my streams the other day. It's like there is a point where luck becomes indistinguishable from skill anyway. So, you know, <laughs> let's run with that. Um, any update on the release date? It's still exactly the same as it was before Gangrene. Um, Pontus actually announced it on our social media. Yeah, I did. It's the 14th. Mm. So what's that? That's 11 days. Mm -hmm. Which is... Always Fairly pays soon. to keep an idea, eye on our social media. Exactly. Yes, and then you won't have to wait a week to hear from us on the stream. If you don't like social media, then um, generally you can find it on the Discord, our website, and that kind of jazz as well. This looks pretty nice, right? Yes, Mr. Belden, we, we refreshed the category. Um, it should be correct now for new folks coming in, or if you hit F5. All right, let's see. Um... <laughs> Graham, too bad that beaver fell a tree on my on my tent. Yeah, those pesky beavers. Uh, Man, ooh, if we could, if we were to do a beaver hunting run. DLC, we'd get we'd uh, get a lot of yeah, get a lot of popularity there. I think. We'll so call the wild ever get turkey. We've already said we'd love to put turkey in the game, um, but we also said that anytime someone asks, it will be delayed by a year. Yeah. So I think it's in twenty two thirty thousand and twenty something. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, but on a serious note, we know you folks want Turkey. It's just a case of, you know, the time getting it out there yeah. along with all the other things you have planned. It's not that so. easy. No, nope. you don't just go copy right. Turkey, paste Turkey. <laughs> 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 if only. Uh, is that Control K? -K? Will there be two white tail bucks fighting for multi mount? That's a very specific request. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we have ducks. Um, ducks. <laughs> Can we have bucks two white tail ducks? Two fighting? white tail ducks fighting. Like <laughs> 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 um, hey, uh, what do you think gameplay should be? Should I fast travel back and run back, or should I scoot here? Times eight thirty three. Uh, I say so you have literally got all your eggs in one duck basket right now. Yeah. Um, I could many, just how take many the decoys you have down. Uh, I don't know, eighteen maybe. Okay. Well, one, you two, could three, try heading back to your. Uh, your hut, your house. Yeah. Sleep a little bit. Well, a get good back. Bit, and then come back. <coughs> All right. Then I will we'll see me run through the forest as well. Maybe I'll run, run into a diamond or something. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully, I'll do that. Fast travel. Less time changing animals into tree racks. More time developing turkeys. This is the problem because that's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and we have thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of opinions, millions even, to deal with. And it's up to us to kind of cut through that signal noise and work out, you know, what folks as a community on the whole want and how we please the most people at once. And True Racks has been a very strong request. So it's not a case that we won't do X thing or Y thing. It's a case of we just have to try and do everything at the same time, yeah. <laughs> which, as you can imagine, is very difficult. So we do have to choose sometimes. So what's a good time for duck hunting? I haven't done ducks in ages. Yeah. Um, what do we think? Guys? I know, I know Darren, Cru Darren Cruise Rider is a bit of a duck expert, both IRL and in game. So we'll see if he gives you some tips. <coughs> 5.30 a.m. There 5 we go. 5.30, it. yes. Called it. I have a little slip. All right, let's um, let's put a marker out. I won't find it otherwise. Place a waypoint, and I'm off for a run. 
Can you review 3030 ammo? It's really weak. 3030 has been a, a bit of a problem child for us. It's received a few um, little attention passes over the time. Chances are it will happen again, that's for sure. So thank you for the feedback. Um, sorry, you asked me something there, Pontus. No, I but I was reading Scott's question. What about fast travel to lookouts? To that be honest, be awesome. I'd rather have a fast travel to my blind right now. Yeah, but I mean, lookouts, <laughs> blinds, towers yeah. in general would be would pretty be awesome. Nice, yeah. More fast travel options, let's say. Uh, people are asking for a bigger mule deer. Good feedback, thank you. Looking at any African birds, that would be an awesome addition, actually. Some kind of avian species to Vahonga. I know that they do have uh, quite some birds out there. Remember what we would that be like? Not peacocks, but uh, what's we called could do jungle geese chicken. Again. We could do geese again because most of them actually come from <laughs> Africa and fly up uh, north to yeah, Europe. So <laughs> easy peasy, done. No, I mean there's a whole bunch, bunch of stuff we can choose from. Um, I'd last hear when it was Ponce's first stream, only because the fact it's two two o'clock in the morning. Wow, that's some commitment there, Brett. It seems he's got the ring around things. And yes, five o for the ducks. Best time I think. Yes, five thirty. Sorry. Um, yeah, Pontus is. Getting to grips with stuff now. Of course, it's a big game. Yeah. I mean, you know, Slow this but is your sure. first time going for bird life. Yeah. So, yeah. Egyptian geese, guinea fowl, ostriches. <laughs> 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 that would be oh, quite that interesting. That would be cool. Like, imagine having that in your in your trophy lodge. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ran to the wrong. Uh, Dan Serino says turkeys are the number one requested item in the game. It's not. Sorry. Uh, there's, there's a loud group of people who very vocally say they want turkeys, but you only see, obviously, the picture that you see, whereas we have a big net of stuff that we use to sort of gather opinions. And turkeys are not actually number one. Or haven't been historically. We are due to do another bigger survey at uh, some point in the new future, so we'll you know get a more recent uh, finger on the pulse. You know <laughs> what? I recognize this place, and you know why? Because you've been here before? That's true. Guess, <laughs> guess what happened just uh, around this marker? Was this that where you stuck the diamond moose in the eye? It was. Mm -hmm. Well, they I say lightning doesn't standing. strike twice. So <laughs> the thing is, somewhere in this forest that I'm looking at, there's another diamond moose mm. roaming around. Also, Morning, apparently, some kind of of deer here, um, somewhere with that a really nice track. Oh, so you saw these both from your previous stream? Yeah, yeah. Mm. So. Uh, one day, folks, we get back here, and I'm going to show you how to properly hunt the diamond moose. <laughs> properly, rather than... Luckily. Yeah, well, uh, with using a real gun, yeah. I'd say. Um, people are asking, what is the current number one? I'm going to hold off from answering that until we do our most recent survey. Uh, again, we've got one that's being cooked up currently, which we'd like to get out to you. Probably when TK's back... Um, so I'll hold off on that until we drag in the newest survey. But I can say that historically, we have every release we've done, we've always hit the, the, the highest requests from you folks. I mean, it doesn't pay us to put spend loads of time putting stuff in the game that you don't want to play. Uh, yeah, cooking animals can firmogram. I'd love that. I'd like a little grill mini game. Oh, this is at the <coughs> dock hall. Nice, uh, nice catch there. Um, oh, you're using <laughs> Snort Wee's cooler. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to. Uh, let's see. Uh, inventory. There it's we a go. Little, it, it, look, it looks kind of like this. Kind of like that uh, one. Here we go. Can I go? No. No, that, that's the goose. Did you not take it in your yeah, bag? I, I did it. <sighs> Hunt has. Yeah, oh. Uh, I'm. I'm but this is actually a goose call, but of course duck calls do look very similar. Yeah, alright, let's do this exercise again. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, alright, let's uh, we'll go back here. This time I gotta bring a tent as well. Uh, you're, you're full of all the game plans. <laughs> if only have you thought them before. <laughs> uh, collaboration between Call of Wild uh, and Cooking Simulator when? Oh, let's make that happen. That'd be amazing. Damn. I was just whining that I didn't have any any storage room left. So uh, JC Corman on Facebook asked me about baiting animals. I mean, that's been a request that we've, of course, seen pop up more since we added tree stands and tripods, and it would make sense, I think. I think it would be pretty neat to be able to, you know, think of them almost as sort of personalized need zones you could set up that maybe work for X amount of time or X amount of harvest. That would be pretty a neat mechanic. This is why you need to implement mic support for your own coolers. I've joked about that in the <laughs> past. It would be awesome. You could get people busting out their calls. Um, maybe we get a Guitar Hero style peripheral that you could plug in and <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we're back to running. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Did you change the Red Deer calls back? They had Elk calls for quite some time. Yes, we did. Uh, was it two updates ago or one update ago? I can't remember, but they have been corrected. Yes. I'd be punched to death calling mallards in the early hours. Yeah, imagine explaining that to your, your partners at home when you're sat in your computer room making weird noises. Yeah. <laughs> Make 2-2 two -two stronger. Uh, what do you mean, Duck Wrestler? What kind of game do you want to take with the 2-2? Two -two? Thank you, Ned. Yep, if I do answer your question, please don't continue to spam it. If, if you answer a question, ask a question, at least have the good grace to listen to my answer, please. <laughs> I do have to pick from lots of people talking to us, so it's good to do it efficiently. Um, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, um, regarding sort of weapon strengths, let's say, to put it into a very basic term, um, of course we want to make it somewhat realistic, but the important thing is to remember we are still a game as well. Uh, we kind of have to do, we do have to blur the lines somewhat, uh, rather than make it a full sim. If we make it a full sim, pretty much every weapon is going to be usable for most things, and we kind of remove a lot of the, the fun from the game, let's say. It'd get quite dull quite quick if you could use one gun for everything. Um, mm, didn't I equip it? you just spooked. Yeah, um, let's see what kind of moves that was. Um. So yeah, of course we like to try and make things make sense, but we do have to also bear in mind it is a game as well, in a lot of respects. So it's about us trying to tow that line the best we can. <laughs> see if it was Baby Diamond, I don't think so, but hmm. Uh, Darren uses 300 everything. In South Africa, we call everything with two twos, cheap ammunition. Um, but that's the thing. As you said, I mean, realistically, you could get a kill shot on a lot of animals with very different weaponry than what we might uh, show in the game here. But it's something we have to consider to make different weapons even interesting. Otherwise, it's like, here's your gun. Go out and hunt. And that would be a bit, yeah. We like to give you sort of fun choices that you kind of have to make. Admittedly, sometimes you might think they're not fun, in which case do let us know when we do adjust accordingly. Um, yeah. And again, Ryan is demonstrating my previous whole speech about what I was talking about just now. <laughs> so spin back a couple of minutes, Ryan, and listen to my response before. Uh, loving new maps. Love the game, says Defunct on Mixer. Great to hear. More to come. Always will be. Uh, Dan C. Davis says, very happy with the 30 or 6. Love it for Whitetail. You did listen to the people about that. And like I said, we are always, always happy to hear your feedback and where it makes sense from a gameplay sp perspective and where we think it will be more fun for you folks, we will adjust accordingly. Will Hunter be supporting on PS5 and next gen consoles in 2020? Um, as our product owner, Phil. You know, no good old Phil. Um, he actually answered that quite recently, I believe, and said, you know, we do want um, Call of the Wild to be a kind of an ongoing experience. Uh, that's all the details we can give right now, but ideally we would not like you to have to, you know, get the new version. So we'll, we'll talk about more, more of that uh, as we get closer, I'm sure. All right. Now I should at least have the duck collar. There we go. Which blind are you in? A nice camo on. Oh, you haven't got the duck blind, though. Are there duck blinders? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the more you know. Yeah, I, again, this is Ponta's first outing out doing ducks. And so I what's the difference between this nice, spacey camo blind? That one I smells got? like duck, the other one doesn't. Smells like duck. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> Are you trolling me? No, I mean, you can shoot. You can. It just does give you... Um, Camouflage, but it'll be a bit more difficult right. when you. Um, if, anyway. if you look, it has a roof. That that in itself is a bit of a problem when you want to shoot things that are flying up. But you can still use it. Nah. Uh. You'll see. I'm gonna do fine. Mm. As I saw, I, I saw some uh, bird droppings here. So they were here nice. just now. As Brett is asking, what part of the map are you hunting? We're quite south. I preferably like to go north yeah, when hunting I'll ducks. Can, I can show um, you. Yep. So I'm in. This nice area. All right, let's just scoot around. Hope we see some nice birdies around. What do you think of an all bird map? A destination of bird hunting with ducks, coots, magansas, pheasants, quail, grouse, jukka, turkey, crows, geese, doves, tail. That's a lot of birds. Yeah, that's um, a lot <laughs> of birds. 
Yeah, that'd be super fun. Like a specialist kind of map, uh, just for bird hunting, that kind of thing. That'd be pretty neat. Ah, Zach Keller says you're in his spot. Oh, I am? Mm? Well, that's, uh, I think, a seal of approval. At yes. Least. I was a bit worried about this spot. How about a money pack? Say $10 gets you 100,000 credits in game or something similar. Similar. JC, I think although you'd like that, if we were to do something like that, everyone else would probably get very angry at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, people do get angry at the very existence of options in some cases, <laughs> even if they don't use them themselves. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's likely to happen anytime soon. I'm afraid. But of course, we do like to make. We should make it so the economy makes sense for you and it doesn't feel too grindy. So, we can uh, take that uh, as feedback. Let's say. So Reinhold is asking if uh, True Valley will release with the lodge, and uh, yes, it will. Yes, looking forward to seeing those uh, True Valley coming on our social media. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to hunt those originals before they disappear, though. You should have a farmyard, arcade, air rifles with frail pigeons, rats, rabbits, any form of them be mint. Sam, you read my mind, bro. <laughs> I've actually joked around in the past saying I'd love a, a like a farmyard mini game where you, it's just like, you know, a much smaller map, which is just a farm, and you just do like vermin control with an air rifle or something. That would occupy me for hours, just sat there plinking rats off of beams and stuff. Um, 50 cal AP rounds for rabbits, not going to happen. <laughs> Where what about adding a dog that? DLC? We've seen a few comments about that recently because there's a naughty fake Instagram account going around that posted a dog. We're on that, by the way. Um, yes, we know folks would love to see dogs. Dogs have been hunting with humans for centuries. Um, it'd certainly be a cool addition to the game, for sure. Ever heard of please and thank you, chat, says Hosenfuhrer. That would be nice, Hosenfuhrer, but, uh, you know, internet. <laughs> um... Hunt to call the world, adding a managing herd tips in the codex, please. That'd be pretty neat, Cody. That's good feedback. You know, those of you who want a little bit of extra advice. Otherwise, do drop into our uh, community channels, places like our Discord or our Facebook group. There's plenty of people there who are willing to offer you advice, you know, about how to better go about things tactically. Yeah. I mean, we don't often like to tell you too much in the game, like, you know, in terms of mechanics and how stuff works in detail, because there's a lot of fun in kind of discovering things yourself. But um, if you really want to step up to the next level, definitely recommend getting involved in our community. So maybe just hunt these small sparrows instead. <laughs> No, the game sounds very quiet. They're Pop not that up a little bit. Why do people always complain about prices? I think they're very reasonable price. Great budget hobby. Well, yeah, when you think about gaming, once you've paid your ridiculous price for your gaming rig, of course, <laughs> um, as far as, uh, you know, dollar per hour entertainment, I'd say gaming was a good choice. Well... At least we get a nice view. Mm. Beautiful the sun just rising behind the mountains. Yeah, it makes you wanna go outdoors. But it's cold here now. And not that this There's pretty. our chat frozen. Oh no, here we go. It just finally loaded up. Uh du -du 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 -du. Wow. Can we bring out heavier grain arrow for water buffalo? Sort of a nine legendary with 80% quick kill double lung. Yeah, good feedback, TJ. I, I've had pretty decent luck with 600 grains myself, but of course, it's nice to be certain and not rely on the chance that something could go adrift. So that's good feedback for sure. Night vision option for the drilling rifle. Feedback taken, Anthony. Of course, night vision was a, a, a recent feature, so chances are we could expand on that as time goes on. I love the drilling rifle personally. It's one of my go-to weapons here on Leighton. It's great how you can obviously use the rifle for um, elk, etc. And then you've got your shotgun for when you see bunnies and ducks and other such little things. A drilling rifle. Can From German, it's dreiling. Right. And you also get a feeling. A feerling or fünfling even in some cases. Dry being three, fear being four, oh, fünf right. being five. So it's denote the n number of barrels. So... Our American viewers, 
don't there were a lot of them haven't sort of seen those so commonly but in europe they're a little bit more commonly used they're often very expensive but they're very flexible in the case that you can have your rifle shot and you can also carry it around uh, your shotgun barrels as well oh so you can add different types of ammunition in it. yes oh that's interesting though yeah it's nice that's um, a great idea it is it is there's uh in ingenuity in good at making stuff germans <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> good yes. with the engineering yes Ingen ingenuity engine oh, i can't <laughs> think of the word i want to say now mm. let's stick with good at making stuff mm. so can you believe this caller got a 500 meter uh, mm? they got good ears those those ducks Here comes the sun Oh, look, look at pretty. that. I think our uh, stream chat is misbehaving today. So apologies for slow to reply to your messages. It's Let's give it a quick reload. So I would have missed anything that's coming in the last minute or so. I think it's frozen entirely. Help. Let's open Twitch at least so we can see what's coming in there whilst that does its thing. Ingenious. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking, no, it's not ingenuous, that's for sure. Yeah, that's why. Will there ever be pheasants? Pheasants would be an awesome addition. Uh, as mentioned before, several times, I d did used to do the odd pheasant shoot when I was younger, so it would be pretty neat to see those represented in game for me, personally. Um, pretty nice to find them on Hirschfeld in or something like that, I guess. Um, right. Come on, Restream. You can do it. Right, sorry about that, folks. If you're on YouTube, you might have missed your chat messages because our chat was misbehaving. Up. Oh, Silverback's in here. Hello, Mr. Silverback. How are you doing? Hola, senor. Oh, Bigfoot too. Hey, Bigfoot. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's nice, Darren. Uh, Rava51, we covered stuff about bait stations earlier in the stream. We said, yes, it'd be a great idea, particularly now we have tripods and tree stands. Quack, quack, quack. Uh, is there a way to message you guys a question on Facebook? Just throw it on our wall. We read our Facebook messages. Uh, uh, uh. Samba, that'd be awesome. Oh wow, now chat's working. Great. I'd love a friends listening game so add peeps and meet an open multiplayer to keep in touch. That is an amazing idea. Obviously, as community managers, we're all about finding ways for our community to talk to each other. And, you know, if you see a, a nice person you want to play with again, so you can do it again. Um, definitely good feedback, and I will shoot that up the chain, definitely. I'm going to start, like, um, making a rule where I don't read out questions that say we need something. <laughs> 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 Is it now an unofficial yeah. official rule? <laughs> Not the bad idea. I would strongly like... <laughs> It would be nice <laughs> <laughs> to have a little ducky. Uh, can you acknowledge Duck Rest of 404 and his AR-15 questions so I don't have to read it every 15 seconds? Alternatively, our mods can stop him from spamming. That would be awesome. <laughs> da -da -da. Perhaps some more around the hunting areas of actual hunting, like skinning and cooking. Yeah, that'd be, we've thought about things like that definitely in-house, like, you know, how we can add uh, some of the other activities that are involved in your actual hunting experience would be pretty neat. How many weeks of work would you estimate to take to implement dogs? Uh, change weeks to months, for starters. Um, and then I'll say I don't know, because <laughs> I'm not the producer. Uh, <laughs> Our our producer, she would be the expert to answer that question for sure. She's got a finger on the pulse of you know how long it takes the devs to do X or Y. But I do know that would be like a months long project with obviously pretty much most of the developers working on it. Hmm, what was that? I mean, we'd have to do things like animations, um, AI behavior, all the other mechanics that go underneath it, how it interacts with the animals that are existing on the map, lots of stuff actually. But it would totally be worth it. Um, 
Phil is not the producer. Um, he was uh, made the product owner for the game, in fact. So Phil used to be the producer, which is responsible for sort of the day-to-day -day activities of, sort of running the team efficiently and working out what we have time for, what we don't have time for, etc. Whereas Phil now is a product owner, he's more about the decision of where the game goes and what kind of things we want to do for it and you know what's going to be the most fun for players, what's going to be profitable for us and all the kind of business-related decisions that go around it. What is your favorite dog, Graham? My dog, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it really named Gordon? Yes. After the chef. As I, I've seen a picture of your dog. Um, yeah, Gordon is a really suiting name for that dog. It is. It yeah, is. It's it's n it would be absolutely useless in a hunting situation unless it was hunting scraps on the floor. Yeah, but still, mm? it's a cool dog. Well, as Poison asking about loadouts, yes, we've commented on that a few times in the past. We'd love to see loadouts. They'd be super handy. Do not call me that, Ryan. Otherwise, that'll be the last time you write something on a Facebook feed. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Lex. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Here's a question. How many diamonds are on one map? That there is an example of the kind of question we would never answer, yeah. I'm sorry to say. But again, we at don't least a million, right? At least a million if yeah. Pontus is playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we don't like to dig too much into the mechanics um, of how things work because it kind of like ruins the the appeal in a lot of cases when you like, look behind that curtain. So. Quack, quack. Come here, little birdies. Any clues on a new map? Not at this time, no. Our next big thing we're looking forward to is, of course, our brand new massive Trophy Lodge and True Fallow, which will be coming up next. Yeah, it is really big. It's huge. Like you can fit, I don't know, they said we're 140 plus mounts. And it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. plaques, <laughs> everything. It's oof, insane. They put a lot of good work into that. Yeah. I've never had any luck with stationary duck hunting in Leighton. Yeah, ideally, if it were me, I would have multiple locations we could kind of flick back and forth between and check them out. Um, I am relaxed, Ryan. It's just good to try and nip that behavior in the bud when it happens. Otherwise, you end up with a chaotic community, and that's not what we're about. Um, get any good follow on the last stream? Trying to find my diamond currently. Actually, it was quite a dry stream, wasn't it? I think yeah. you got bronze at the start, and then we saw tons of females, yeah. and then you got a gold at the end. So we, we ended on a high point, so. That gold looked nice, though. What are you hunting? We're trying to hunt ducks right now. Yeah, um, but again, I don't think that we've set ourselves nah, up in the best possible situation to get Probably them, not. Should I fast travel back, take the ATV, run to another place, set up some stuff, go back? I think that with half an hour left the stream, it might be more interesting if we just changed, changed, and, uh, and get some other things. Yeah. What was that? That's a coyote. Do you think I can snipe it from here? <laughs> oh, didn't I equip any ammo? Uh, d d d can we redo Roosevelt Elk Turax? We of course take feedback on Turax. Um, whether it's something we're going to like to redo in the near near future, I cannot say. Of course, we have the we're working on the existing animals that don't have Turak at all for now. Whether we then go back over some that need tweaking, I can't say. But we can definitely take the feedback on board. All right, we'll do it like this then. We'll put a tent here, maybe come back here at the end and see if we can mm? uh, do something like that. Portable structure. Okay, Ryan, this is... No. Um. Da, look what a nice tent I got. Hmm, alright, what should we go after? I got, since I needed to spare some space in my bag, I only bought the 3006. Can I get anything nice with that? I could get a moose though, but I don't want to risk it. Right, sorry, I just had to fix someone. Um. Mm. I st strongly like for you to understand my need for Greater Kudu in the game. I saw you did there, Stephen. Greater Kudu would be awesome. Um, of course, there's tons more animals that we can add for everything, everywhere. Uh, but it's definitely, uh, that would be a really sweet addition. What's a good size for a coyote? 
big one. <laughs> yeah, but in in weight, that is. In weight, I don't know. I'm not one of these like weight chasing type folks. I'm the way that I hunt for people to see me is like I just wander. I'm not one who plays tracks to get the biggest and best, and that's. That's good as well. I mean, there's different ways of going about hunting the game. For me, I very much like to just see it as going out for a roam and explore. Whereas people are really good at chasing diamonds, then obviously they're paying attention to those weights. I just know if. As Darren says, never mind weight punters, just go kill it. Hmm, what's this? <laughs> That's a uh, feeding, feeding zone. Yeah, someone been here. Yes. Right. Graham, you and I do it the same way. Exactly. I'm I'm not really one of these people that sprint around to find the best track, follow that track. <coughs> I'm just get out there and go for a wander and enjoy the scenery. And yeah, are you working for the Avalanche Studios? Yes, we are. Avalanche Studios slash Expansive Worlds. That's us. This is the official stream for the Hunter Call of the Wild, and you'll also see Hunter Classic here on Thursdays as well. Da -da 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 -da. It would be cool to see deer wallows and small valleys and such. Agreed, Brett, that would be pretty neat. And other things, you know, like um, scrapes and rubs and that kind of thing would definitely yeah. be a neat addition to the game. Like, more more different types of clue Someone markers. eating from the stem of a tree or... Mm. Day Trader says it loves roaming the map, sometimes uses a hiking sim, just being out in the wild and looking at the beautiful scenery and graphics. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the really nice thing about the Hunter Call of the yeah, Wild. Yeah, just look at this with the rain and, you know, it's... Yeah. Sweden Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Although it hasn't well, been raining today. <laughs> it's just been windy. Um, but yeah, that's the nice thing about the game is you can attack it in so many different ways. You know, if you're really about bagging those big diamonds, then you can make it a lot of things in your favor in the way that you go about your hunt. If you're just more about enjoying the journey and not necessarily the goal, then you can do it that way too. Um, which map took the longest to make? That's Ooh. a good question. I couldn't answer that one, actually. Um, I know Fernando was interesting because we had like quite new mechanics. We had the shooting puzzles and that kind of thing. The um, thing is, a lot of time, it's not just the maps either. It's the actual the animals we add on them, which can take some time. So that's a difficult question to answer on the fly. I'm sure one of our devs can inform me. Turn off the tracks and try to play it. Some people do that too. They like turn off all the track markers, and of, of course we have crushed grass and gra <laughs> crushed grass, <laughs> crushed grass, and that type of thing. So you, you can feasibly play it without the markers on, but it, of course it's a lot more difficult. <laughs> Gangrena, the, that's a very uh, late reaction. Uh, Phil is not the producer. Phil is the product owner. Phil used to be the producer, and uh, now I, I already explained about what the differences are, but back in the stream, I don't know if people want to hear it a second time, but now he's a product owner instead of producer. So flick back in the stream if you want to see what the difference between those two are. Why weren't zebras implemented with the Africa map? Well, it's more of a case of we had to decide what we wanted to be on the map. Um, there's always going to be something not included because we can't do every species yeah. of Africa yeah. all in the same place. So we, we kind of have to make decisions about what we think is going to add a variety, what's going to be interesting, and trying to go from there. And of course, there's always a chance to expand on that afterwards. But, you know, if we could, we would. Yes. I mean, we, we could. It's just a case of that we, yeah, uh, we decide to choose other things. Yeah. People would have to wait a couple of years for us to implement every animal. Ah, I see gangrene. Gangreed's watching us from work, so I had to actually interrupt the stream to do some work stuff. <laughs> now it makes sense. But I did answer that question directly after I raised it. Um, does Classic still get improvement updates? Uh, Classic has just finished the Halloween event that's been running recently, which is where people get to go and hunt werewolves, etc. We streamed it last week on the Thursday. Um, yes, there's more to come for Classic. There you go. Here's a good question. It's been asked to me, but I think we can both answer it. Who's the superior duck, Donald or Daffy? Well, Ooh. you're asking a Swede, they go nuts for Donald Duck, or as they call him here, Kala Anka. So, <laughs> uh, I would say Daffy. Yeah, me I too. Find he has fun. a bit more attitude. Yeah, I, I always find yeah. him more fun than, uh, than yeah. uh, Donald or Kala. I did read a lot of Kala Anka when I was a kid. Though. It's the law. For those of you who don't know, Sweden has a tradition here on Christmas Day. Well, not Christmas Day, because Swedes do it Yeah, we do it on the 24th. You do it on the 24th. Uh, at three, 3 in the afternoon, every year, they always show this, like... Disney mashup that ends with Donald. No, sorry, it has Donald Duck in it, but they always end with a new Disney thing at the end, don't they? Yeah. But they do this Disney mashup every year, 
on what is Swedish Christmas Day at it's three in the tradition. afternoon. In England, we have the Queen's Speech at three in the afternoon. That's what we mm, do. I don't know what the wind is really bad here. Uh, I don't know what I'd choose though. Hmm, what's the better thing, <laughs> <laughs> cartoons <laughs> or the Queen's Speech? Yeah. <laughs> well, and then we will normally end with like the billionth rerun of The Great Escape, which is like shown every Christmas without fail at some point. Um, yeah, I think we. Skip the moose tracks, maybe. Ah, we can go for it a bit. Let's see if we find something up here. Mm -hmm. Next DLC, we all don't want launching guns, we want new maps and animals. I think what you mean is you don't, not we don't. It's very difficult to speak for an entire community. <laughs> uh, but of course, you know, we're always looking at the entire community's feedback and trying to work out what we feel you folks want to see and what we feel the game can benefit from the most. So there's a lot of decisions that go into how we decide what to put in the game. Um, generally, what you want being massively bigger than the others. But um, yeah, always bear in mind that we look on a community level and what you personally want may not always necessarily coincide with the community on the whole, but what you get should hopefully still be a lot of fun for you. I mean, we always try and please the most people um, as possible all the time which can be tricky but uh, we'd like to think we've got a good track record of adding good stuff to the game in general I think we do yep just keep the feedback coming let us know what it is you'd like to see and we're always always uh, noting down what we see subsurface depression that oh. sums up this stream in general <laughs> <conscious>. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been sure anything yet? No. No, I haven't seen a no. single animal, which no. is... Uh, I've I had streams like this as well, to yeah, be fair. Well, hopefully we can end it with something really, really good. I consistently uh, find tons of ducks up north along wide rivers. Yeah, exactly. Nor north is my go-to for getting the quackers. <laughs> Should have followed that bear instead. Oh, here we go. Moosey again. Ooh. Nice. Caesar says, The Call of the World hunting simulator is the best for me. I've dedicated my channel from YouTube to do live. I'm in love with this hunting simulator. Glad to hear you're enjoying it. That's really nice to hear. Right. Just now. Nice. The thing is, my, my rifle is a bit too weak for a moose if I don't mm. go for the brain shot again, which... It's not a good idea, I guess. It's it's good idea if it lands. If it doesn't, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did he just do a 360? I think our chat is broken again on restream. Sorry, folks. Let me fix that. I would have missed any recent questions. Where's Tree Kiwi? He's off hunting real-life deer in America right now. He's off uh, chasing more whitetails. I think he's back next week. Or uh, maybe not for the what stream day next is week. Is it the 5th today, right? It is. Oh, it's November 5th. This is the, the day of the year where England celebrates with big bonfires and burning effigies. Oh, is <laughs> it Remember, Remember? Yeah, exactly. Guy Fawkes Day, right? Was that his name? Yes, that's the, that's the dude. He tried to blow up Parliament, yeah. failed miserably, and he now was every the, year we celebrate the, by burning <laughs> him. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit dark. <laughs> he's the only man with honest intentions that ever entered Into Parliament. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, even more poignant with the modern... Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is fireworks night only in the UK then? I mean, different countries have firework related celebrations, but for the UK, yeah, bonfire night November the 5th is only a UK thing. So am I really going the wrong direction? Why don't you put 100% of attention to Call of Wild and why does Classic have turkeys? Well, we do put 100% of the attention to Call of Wild. The Call of Wild is always and will always have its 100% dedicated dev team. And the reason Classic has turkeys is it's been out for 10 years. <laughs> it has 10 years worth of development. I mean, Hunter Classic started off from a, a very small, um, sort of basic 
set of options and it's been growing and growing and growing and growing over ten years. And if you look at the, the change that Hunter Call of Wild has make made in two years, you'll see it's actually accelerated faster than even Hunter Classic did. So that that's the sh that's the reason why and there's only gonna be more stuff coming for sure. Did you see that? I did. I saw it. I missed the, the moves. perfect shot. God damn it, Leroy. And yes, heart not brain is generally Yeah, preferable. even with the thirty oh six. Oh that'll do that'll do a heart shot, no worries. As long as you hit the heart, if you yeah. end up I mean obviously both are tough shots because you're aiming for a small target. I'd probably say heart was more consistently possible than All right. head. Uh Duck Wrestler, I feel like you're wrong. But maybe you could elaborate on that point and maybe go into some specifics and then we can talk about that. Just making sweeping statements is never going to create a good conversation, let's say. Perfect shot aims for brain. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is he's he's lacking he's lacking the gun that he needed, so you have to make some uh, less than ideal choices. Yeah, I need to play some more. The thing is, there's no time. So I can I can level up mm. and I can get the really nice gun that I want. We have we have um, means and ways for us to make this happen. I know, <laughs> I know. I want to play it like it is intended, though. Yeah. As Hosenfuhrer says, if your particular comment is not asked, answered, whoever you may be, it's not due to some evil master plan that we have as devs. It's due to the fact that we're reading chat from four different locations. And as f the way that time works is we could never answer every single question in every stream because they come in faster than we have minutes to reply to them. <laughs> so there will always, unfortunately, be questions that I miss missed, but I always do try and pick out ones that will... Uh, hopefully answer a question that can help the most people at once. Um, we won't talk about the rugby, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it end well for... No, it, it didn't. England. It didn't. Yeah. Uh, are there any plans for a Scandinavian map? That would be pretty neat. And I know, obviously, being a Stockholm dev studio, yeah. it would probably be close to a lot of the devs' hearts. Um, I don't know which area I would like And to the tricky see, thing is, I mean... An, what would we be able to add doing that that's very different from what we already have in the game? I know yeah. we probably have some very distinct hunting styles, animal types we'd probably like to cover before we went to that kind of thing. I mean, a, a lot when we choose reserves, a lot of it is not about just the location. It's mostly about the animals that you can expect to find there. So, hmm, How many turkeys are there? I think there's at least 40 extra years, 40 right? extra years on that yeah, front. Yeah, sorry, Peter. <laughs> Don't do Denmark, it'll be all fields and road deer that already died to cars. Oh dear. <laughs> Man, he really scooted off that fella. Graham, please answer, will the game be supported on PS5? And will the ones who have it on PS4 keep it saved with all DLCs or are again on PS5? Uh, to echo what our product owner Phil said recently, the goal is to have an experience that you can just continually play through um, without having to sort of redo things from scratch. But we'll, of course, answer more specifically near the time. Are you from Sweden? Yes, we are, Captain Rex. Pontus is Swedish. Well, I am actually Swedish now, although originally British, but I am a Swedish citizen now. Um, <coughs> we're streaming to you from Stockholm. Uh, the dev studio is based in Stockholm. Yes, we are. Let's see where this moose is, though. He's definitely not from Stockholm. Just now, it's close. It'd be nice if there was a Scotland Highland map, but Patrick would also like to see more bug fixes. I mean, we we have this situation where we know there's bugs. And we, of course, try and address as many as we can with each update. But we also have a lot of people who are like, give us more types of stuff to do. And again, it's going back to that conversation I had earlier about how we try and keep a balance to please as many people as we can possible at one time. Some people will say, all I ever want from you is bug fixing. I'm happy with what's in the game now. Other people are like, 
my experience is pretty okay. I just want more stuff. And it's up to us as devs to try and sort of get a balance between the two. You're never going to please anyone 100% of the time. Ideally, we'd love to have everything 100% bug free. So all we can try and do is our absolute best to nail as many as we can while still keeping people happy who want to see more content. Um, and again, it's always a, a, thin, a, thin line to a thin line to tread, but uh, we do do our best to keep sort of both camps happy as much as we can. Hmm. Oh, I think I lost track of him. PS says on Twitch, I love the game. I appreciate your work. I know you consider things thoroughly before implementing them. Keep up your awesomeness. Do good and do it well. Thank you. Thank you, Pierce. Nice words. And of course, I mean, as a dev team, always, always we aim to, you know, do things right first time. I mean, I don't think there's anyone who would not want to. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go back, look at tracks. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, Margus Mies. I can't address that whole comment because it's massive, I'm sorry to say. I'm not sure where you got the comment about not hunting roe deer, though. Roe deer are a very popular animal to hunt here in Sweden. I tend to eat them every Christmas because one of our neighbors hunts them. We have people in the dev team who hunt roe deer, so I'm not sure where that comment came from. Um, that's a weird one. They're called raw deer here, but um, raw deer. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what raw, raw deer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, a French deer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. I got it right second time. Yeah, raw deer. You yeah, were pretty close. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you tried, mm -hmm. and I'm. That's what I'm gonna call them from now on. Indeed, I won't comment on your butchery of the English language. <laughs> you hey, I hear it every stream. I hear it every stream. Don't be shy. <laughs> like the the uh. widest Swedish accent ever. Gangrene TVP wants to see track IR support. I too have a track IR uh, set up at home, which I I play for uh, Elite Dangerous primarily, but that would be pretty neat for Call of the Wild, actually. We do have eye tracking with Toby in the game. I don't think we have addressed track IR specifically, though. Sorry, it's been answered already. Any plans of adding Turkey? Love the game. You guys are a great div team. I'm going to answer that one because it does seem like River doesn't get doesn't got the context overall about the Turkey meme here. But yes, we absolutely know folks would love to see Turkey. Um, We also would like to see the moose, I was chasing. Pretty sure roe deer is the most hunted deer species in Scandinavia. Exactly. That's what made me think it was kind of an odd thing that someone somewhere has possibly said that we don't hunt them in Sweden because that makes no sense at all. <laughs> um, you're still chasing the moose, sorry. So. Yeah. Mm. He screamed at me from somewhere around here. Probably scooted off somewhere. Could it be that we won't fire a single shot today? We'll see. You can always pop one in the air just to say you did. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah gonna uh. take one of the sparrows. 45 is a very underrated gun in the community. Yeah, I mean, you know, all the guns in the game do have their uses, and personal preference is okay as well. I mean, not every gun can be the best at everything. So, as you said, just get out there and choose what you enjoy. Um, everything should be able to do its job. Can we do side by sides for those intimate buddy hunts? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Uh, multiplayer form of transport would be pretty cool, that's for sure. I'd like to see a Scottish map. A Scottish map would be awesome. How much of the difference is between the GZ and Call Wild engines? I feel like it's not that much. It's exactly the same engine, yeah. but an engine doesn't necessarily dictate just copy pasting things between games, let's say. Um, but yes, it is the same engine between the products. PewDiePie hunts Road Deer in his free time, but he lives in England. So uh, I'm not sure how many they have in Brighton, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe he comes back to Sweden. Uh, but they do have Road Deer in the UK as well. Uh, Jeremy Gaming, unlikely to happen, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> How 
how adding a clay range that would be pretty neat actually that'd be quite fun just to pop some clays in your downtime oh he's just up here yeah that would be super awesome someone like me could do a bit of training before mm. also good fun you know have some competition with your buddies etc yeah pretty neat yeah imagine multiplayer doing that four in a row mm. bam 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 would be nice See, I just saw him up here. Do it, Margus, because if we said that, that was, um, I don't know whether that was some confusion somewhere, because, like I said, me personally, I eat hunted roe deer from Sweden. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I definitely know where my food comes from, so... Um. Again, more turkey questions. Switch back in the stream. We always answer that about 16 <laughs> times per episode. So sorry, we won't be doing any more about that now. Um, when are you going to make boats for lakes? I've always said I'd love to see a boat for some description. Um, of course, feedback taken. Yeah, it would be nice. Mm. So I could just scoot over the water here. Yes. Go have a look. Little jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate those things. I yeah. hate those things. They're so annoying. I used to sail, like, when I was living in the UK. And, you know, we find this really nice, quiet anchorage. And you drop anchor, get out your lunch, just to sit and have a nice, peaceful lunch. And you suddenly hear this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. It's the same with snow scooters as well. We like to go cross-country skiing. And it's like, mm, two-stroke oil and loud engines. Just what I need in the middle of the Swedish <laughs> wilderness. <laughs> Sorry, I missed the last minute, but I thought I heard someone say clay pigeon shooting. Sounds cool. Um, that was just us responding to some ideas someone had. It wasn't an announcement. <laughs> just to lay that clear, but it would be it would be pretty cool. It's about that time again. Holiday season. Going to have a new survey soon. Gangrene, you probably had a phone call with work when I talked about it, but I did say that we would like to get a survey out soon. Come here, moosey, moosey, moosey. Uh, Darren's asking about, has our numbers dropped since a certain FPS released? Um, I don't know which one you're referring to, but we're quite resilient to that type of thing, because if you want to play a hunting game, um, we are the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're quite resilient. Of course, some folks might go away to play the newest, coolest thing we're in a different genre. But we're pretty confident in that we give the best hunting experience without being too, you know, boastful. But uh, <laughs> how has it not been raining? Actually, Scott, it was raining towards the start of the stream. Yeah. So. It was. Yeah. We even commented on that. Yes. That it was so nice. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, getting pinged. Is it a dev thing? Nope. i uh, love to see Hunt Club expand soon. We're going to get trophy challenges like in Classic anytime soon. Um, that's something we... Oh. Oh. Pontus is on a moose. Yeah. I'll get back to that question. Oh. There we go. Perfect. No. Heart. Straight ahead of you. Here. Down a bit. Oh. oh there. I ran no. out of breath. But yeah, you want to aim... Look at where the, the top legs end and All the right. belly begins. Aim kind of, you know. Yeah, I'm going to get another chance. The, yeah. Just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Okay, down a bit. Down a bit. Left a bit. There. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Kind of around that there. All right. Um, saying about Hunt Club stuff. Um, to do Hunt Club, we need to do uh, various sort of back-end stuff. Maybe like creating an account system and that kind of thing. So it's definitely something we want to do more of. But it's going to be quite a, a big activity for us to expand on it further. I mean, it's definitely something we're interested in doing. We just decided to go for it. I think I, I aimed mm? where I thought the heart would be. Let's okay. see. Let's see it's him. Well, generally, if you miss the heart, you're going to get a single lung. So you might have to go for a bit of a walk, but it should eventually drop. Yeah. Hunt may turn turned purple yet, so it's alive. But we'll see. At least I got to fire one shot. Exactly. <laughs> yes. You can see how happy I am. Where's the blood spatter? Where did I get him here? Oh, it's a yeah, it's, good shot it's vital blood, so I'm guessing you hit a lung. Um, 
Which Wait. which uh, which is your color for active tracks? Is it blue? Yeah, every. Oh, okay. He's everything been doing laps. Blue. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. It's up here somewhere. There's more blood. Mark M. You know what my mum used to say? If you haven't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> <laughs> be nice. Yeah, I, I think that's a universal thing. Because yeah, my exactly. Mom used to say that too. The world would be an awesome place if yeah. everyone bared that one rule in mind. I mean, I know that game gaming communities in some places can be a little bit wild westy, but that's not how we run things around here. We like to have a nice place where people can all meet and hang out and have a, a pleasant experience. Probably. Including us, as devs, for that matter. <laughs> yes, devs have feelings. Yes, they do. So, think about the edgy comments before you hit that enter button. Righty, let's... Uh, Chat froze up, folks. Bear with me. He'll be back in a sec. Hmm, he really scooted a bit. But I heard that uh, in real life, you know, depending on how much air they got in their lungs, they can run for quite a while. But here we go. Ooh, it's a big one. Um, being asked about a Christmas update. We mentioned this before. That was good. Dropped. Single lung, I guess. Let's, Let's have a look what we got. Oh, yeah. it's just a bronze stone. Flip round to the front. And put it back in X-ray mode, so you can see you just, just skimmed the hearts. It wasn't a bad shot; you just, just, just whiffed it. So there we go, people. Are there any women in your team? Yes, there absolutely are. We have, um, for example, Churak System, uh, one of our artists who's been doing loads of work towards that. It's female. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to go through the list. We have loads of women yeah. in our team. Uh, we like to keep uh, sort of diverse setup in the studio and the company in general. So, yes, we do. Um, ba -ba -ba. lovely male moose, yes. A bit small, smaller than I'm used to, though. <laughs> <laughs> Can't all be diamonds, and just as well because you would have ruined that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, back to the Christmas event question. Um, we're at the stage in the game now where we feel there's so much that we can add to the base game experience and your everyday enjoyment of Call of the Wild that us taking a month out to create content that you're going to play for maybe a week is. Probably not in our interests. Never say never. We might do some little things here and there. Uh, but these big grand events are probably not in our scope right now. Just because if you look at all the comments the rest of the stream, people want to see so much other stuff that they're going to enjoy on a daily basis. So that's that's kind of the reasoning for why we don't go big on these uh, seasonal events, even though they are tons of fun. When a Spain reserve? Yeah, Spain would be a pretty neat, uh, unique kind of place to visit, I guess. Uh, lots of game types that we haven't seen yet. So. <laughs> a lot of British tourists. A lot of British tourists, <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Um, uh, just a heads up, Graham. Ryan King's posting in all groups trying to get Call of Wild email address to get you removed from streaming. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? So <laughs> but thank you for uh, letting me know. Uh, unfortunately... Being nasty to people on stream and then complaining about afterwards is not going to result in any uh, actionable stuff here. Um, yes. Yeah. That's just common sense. Mm -hmm. Again, it goes back to that let's all be nice uh, theme that I said <laughs> earlier. Um, do animals increase trophy ranking over time or are they spawned and max? So, Scott, as you hunt your map, you will naturally, at a very gradual rate, start to see some bigger animals appearing. Um, so just get out there, hunt, do your thing, and uh, eventually, over enough time, you know, you will start to see bigger stuff appearing. Although, of course, there is a random element as well where you can get some big stuff coming. Can you just ban the unnice viewer? I did, Aragon. That's the thing. I banned them, and now they're apparently starting a campaign somewhere. But I'll, I'll go and steal that is after the stream. <laughs> um. With that said, <laughs> it's almost after the stream, so... Nick Witt on Facebook, lol. That's all I'll say to that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's true, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I um, think we we all understand that. Mm. Um. Uh, Patrick Maloney says, not trying to pick out all the bad things in the game. That's fine, Patrick. Seriously, any feedback is good feedback when put in a nice well thought out manner like you did there um can we fix the horns going in the ground yeah i mean a lot of people have feedback on that it does affect you know the ability for you to appreciate your harvest and sort of get a nice trophy shot if you want to using the in-game camera so that's definitely feedback that we're uh, paying attention to thank you for letting us know 
Uh, come on, level cap release, please not be a dream. Um, Steve, our game designers definitely have their eyes on the leveling system, progression on the whole. That's something we'd want to address, but I think as we said in the past, where we've had Zeke and other game devs on, or game designers more specifically, it's something that we'd probably want to do a, a big attempt at, not just sort of pe peck at it. So watch this space for the future. And Pontus, yes. I think that wraps us up today. Well, I got fired one shot. You did. It was did. a decent shot. It was a decent moose. It was close. You didn't quite nail the heart, but you skimmed past it. That's the thing with a heart shot. If you miss it, you miss it. Yeah. <laughs> You're always going to get a lung, generally, if you do miss. So it's pretty good if you just want to get the animal on the floor. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next time, I'm going to have a better weapon. I mm. promise, guys. We'll, we'll bring, the, bring the proper tools. Yeah, I'm going to grind for a bit. Yes. Get you some more... more um, We'll end with this beautiful view of a nice mountain here. Yeah. Some snow. Oh, we're going to get snow soon, Graham. <laughs> we are. I love <laughs> snow. I love the cold weather. Lads, the chat's been great. Well, thank you, Darren. And again, chat's been great because we pay attention to making sure that it's a great place to hang out. So, unfortunately, we did have to deal with some naughtiness today. But let's keep the chat great, folks. Um, thanks so much, gentlemen. You're welcome, Piers. Thank you, all of you. Uh, yes. we'll, are we going to be doing? Are we going to have time for a classic stream of Thursday? Or are we doing a bi-weekly at the moment? Yeah, I think we'll do it next week. Next and week then TK's back. So. Yep. So you'll see us next tomorrow if you like some Generation Zero. Otherwise, call the wild next Tuesday. Yes. Cool. And remember, guys, stay out of trouble. Indeed. Bye bye. Bye bye. Are we? we <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hold hands. <laughs> see y'all. <laughs>